Justin Ornoff here, head pitching instructor with this baseball. I came across an article recently where there's been a lot of criticism over the Michael Pineda trade. If you're a Yankees fan, I'm sure you know the situation. But if you don't, Pineda pitched last year with Seattle, came over in a trade to the Yankees. A big power arm, and the Yankees ended up giving up a few top prospects to get Pineda. Um, he pitched a few weeks in spring training and ended up going down uh, with a labrum injury. So now he's had surgery and he's going to begin his rehab process. So there's been a lot of criticism, um, especially on Brian Cashman with the Yankees and, you know, making the deal. And as of right now, it doesn't look like a good deal. Uh, but that being said, uh, with this guy, there's still a lot of value in him, especially with his stuff and his command. But moving forward, I think the Yankees really have to make a strong effort to really clean up some uh, glaring delivery issues with Pineda. Uh, so that being said, let's kind of get right into it. I found this, I have a few videos here of Pineda, uh, but I want to detail really two issues. Um, as we go through his delivery here, I really like his base. Okay, so he, as he moves forward, his knee is inside of his foot. He's moving forward with his hips. Good, strong base here, good foundation. But the first issue that really starts to kind of stand out is as he takes the ball back, he gets his arm pretty stiff right away, and his hand position is further back from his body. And as he moves down the mound, his hand continues to travel behind his back, and he gets into uh, a really premature scap load. And as you can see, his front foot has not hit yet, and his arm continues to travel back. So he's got a lot of scap load here, similar to kind of what Strasburg issues is. And as he goes through and he continues forward, and we look at his front foot strike here. His torso is forward, and as you can see here, his shoulder, especially the anterior portion of his rotator cuff here and his shoulder is exposed. And what happens is, is when the torso is at this angle here, the shoulder and the rotator cuff are going to take the brunt of the impact. When we land at front foot strike, we generally want our torso to be in a back position, a loaded position, where our torso is kind of similar to where this should be. So if you see guys, especially like a Verlander and a Kershaw, when I'm going to highlight a Kershaw video in a minute, when they hit at front foot strike here, they're still back and they're still supported. Okay, and their, their, especially their hand position is not above their shoulder. It's in line, if not slightly below their shoulder. So if we look at this Kershaw video for a second, and we kind of go through his delivery, you notice as he comes down the mound, he remains, his arm is still flexed. Ball's far back, the arm's flexed here in a good position. And as he comes forward, and he's about to hit front foot strike here, notice the difference in the torso. A lot of torque here, good strong position. If you highlight his hand position, his shoulder, he's fully supported, hips are open, he's still back ready to drive this ball down. Now we back it up one split second, notice where his hand is. It's still in line with his shoulder, his hand position is pointing towards first base, good strong position, and as he hits, now he can go and accelerate as hard as he wants to, being fully supported. And as he goes through, it's a nice, strong throw. And I wanted to highlight a guy who's big, power arm, young guy um, who throws hard, similar to Pineda. So if we go back to Pineda, it's this position that time and time again, multiple throws, which ends up wearing down his shoulder. And if we continue forward into a different clip, this clip here, is Pineda, I, think, I believe, pitching for the Tennessee Smokies, uh, double A. Um, and it's kind of a similar issue. We go to front foot strike, bam, chest is forward here, shoulders exposed again, balls way above his head, and here is where he's just going to continually get the impact and the trauma to the shoulder joint. Uh, one more clip as we move forward here, kind of a front view, kind of give you a little bit different perspective. As he moves forward, good strong base with his legs again, strong front side. And as you can see, his hand position, premature scap load here, 
lots of torque here. We don't want the scap load to happen before the, the front foot hits. Front foot hits, and as he goes to his throw, this is where you're going to start to see the impact to the shoulder here and here. And one thing to remember is everything is amplified by the big guys that throw hard because their arms just whipping so much faster. So if there is an issue, um, especially a glaring issue like Pineda's, um, he's going to wear down at a much quicker rate. And if he can just, and the Yankees can get him to a more solid position for, like Kershaw here, strike, let's go back one frame there, then Pineda, I, I believe, will definitely be able to hold up, uh, but he's just got to be able to get there um, consistently. And if, it's definitely something, you know, you had to get surgery, but he has rehab time to make an effort to change his delivery a little bit. And I think if you can make a few adjustments, then the Yankees will still maintain that big power arm. And especially with Pineda's case, I mean, he was a big power arm and a guy that really flashed a lot of command. Uh, so he can have both. He's got to make, make an effort to clean it up. Um, so that's kind of what I see. Thanks for listening.